Hi everyone. Um, I had a question on my last video. Somebody asked what, um, what motivates me to clean? Like what, how, and I take it as, you know, saying you're having a bad day and you just can't get yourself to start cleaning. Um, <laughs> and it's kind of interesting that I'm doing this today because I've had a horrible, horrible week. Um, I've tried to clean all week long. I've tried and it just hasn't happened. My schedule has been crazy for the most part is what's kept me from it. So here I am the last day of the week and I have to get some stuff clean. Um, we have uh, a new bed coming this weekend. So I have to get some stuff clean so that they can even come and deliver the bed. I know that sounds really embarrassing, right? Um, those of you who don't clean a lot, that's kind of your norm. You kind of understand that. Um, so anyway, I have uh, the rest of today to really get going on my cleaning. So obviously I'm not in the mood to do it because it's piled up so much from the week. And whenever that happens, I do different things. So one of the things that keeps me motivated is I make a list of what needs to be done. And I make it a simple list, you know, things that I, I look at my time that I have and then I make a list based off of uh, how much time I have that I can work on it. So, and then just by crossing things off the list, it keeps me motivated. So that's one thing I do. Another thing I do, say it's a really bad day, okay? And I can't even fathom even doing that, okay? Um, I'll go for a, a walk or something like that. It has nothing to do with cleaning, okay? And sometimes that gets your endorphins going enough that where when you get back, you're like, okay, let's tackle this stuff. Um, another thing I do, which I actually got from the fly lady, is she makes things into a game. So, okay, say the 27 fling boogie is what she talks about, where you run through your house as fast as you can, gather up 27 things that need to be thrown away. Okay, and you do it as fast as you can, okay? Her other thing are these two-minute hotspots. So you set your timer for quick two minutes, you know? Or actually, I think hers are five minutes, but I do two minutes because sometimes it's just that bad that I can only afford to spend two minutes on something. So I set my timer for two minutes, and I gather up as much as I can in those two minutes. Um, I pick a spot that I'm going to work on and work on that. And then sometimes after you do those two minutes and you see how much you did, it motivates you to do more. So, um, that's another thing I do. Um, something else I do is say, for instance, uh, you haven't cleaned a lot and you can't even kind of get going and you want to see if there's any other ideas somebody has. Honestly, I'll sit there and watch YouTube videos, but I set a timer as to how long I will watch those YouTube videos. I'm not going to sit there and watch them forever. Okay. So, um, I'll say, okay, for the next 15 minutes, I'm going to watch YouTube videos. No biggie, okay? And so, for those 15 minutes, I'll watch them. And then, just by watching somebody else clean, somehow gets you motivated. I don't know how it works, but it does. And so, that helps me too. Um, another thing is visualization. I go into a room that's really, really cluttered, and it can be overwhelming. I don't know how you all are, but that's how I am. And that's one of my major roadblocks is just getting started on something when it's been piled up. I'll go into the room, and I'll let, it, I'll let myself feel that overwhelming feeling, okay? It's okay. We all get it, okay? But then I close my eyes, and I envision that room cleaned, okay? And just by visualizing it clean and that feeling you get by seeing it clean in your head, okay, kind of drives you and changes your, uh, your uh, outlook on the clutter. And you see it as, I'm going to get this done. This can actually be an organized space. This can be a great space. You know, things like that, that gets me motivated as well. There's other days where nothing works, okay? I'm not going to lie to you. Some days, you just cannot get started. And honestly, on those days, the only way to get motivated is to get up off your butt and get going, okay? I know it sucks, 
And honestly, I've had it several days even this week whenever I did have just a couple minutes here and there to clean. I didn't even want to do it, but I made myself get up and I noticed that in the middle of doing it, we're not even in the middle, just after the first few minutes of doing it, I was in cleaning mode. I'm like, let's clean. And then I just went on a marathon of cleaning, okay? So yeah, that tires you out, okay? So I don't recommend it on an everyday basis to do a marathon cleaning. But if you are one of those people that does not get motivated and once they get in that mode, they need to take full advantage of it, by all means, go do a freaking marathon if you need to. Take breaks though. Do not overdo it. You need to take breaks in between. Um, the fly lady, it, this is what I guess she would call her crisis cleaning. She will say, uh, spend 15 minutes in this room, 15 minutes in that room, 15 minutes in another room. Then take 15 minutes break. So basically, every 45 minutes of cleaning, you take 15 minutes for yourself, okay? And then you get back going. And you honestly set that alarm for each of those 15 minutes. So then you know what it is and you stay in that kind of zone, you know? Um, and so there you have it. That That's another way of getting motivated. So those are the things that I do. Um, you can always play different games. Like I know... Fly Lady on her Facebook page, she'll have Fly Lady Bingo, where she'll be like, you, you, uh, uh, she calls out different tasks that you need to go do or something. Um, also, I turn on music. Music motivates me. Um, I, I love to sing and stuff like that, so sometimes just having something on in the background while I'm doing other things kind of distracts me from it, and so that helps me. Sometimes I even clean watching videos. You know, I'm not actually watching them. I'm more listening to them. But I did that uh, last week whenever I was having to do uh, some of my challenge, my challenge for how Jen does it. I turned on her videos and I basically did it with her. Um, there's some clean with me videos where you can basically clean with the person on there. And that sometimes helps you too. Um, I'm trying to think what else... Uh, that's really about it. Um, sometimes I go and I'll clean a certain room that I know I'm wanting to work on a project on, like, uh, our bathroom or something like that. I'm wanting to put new cabinets in there or something. So I'll focus on that room. And then at the end of the week, I'll reward myself by getting the new cabinet. You know, things like that, uh, can work. Um, or say I found a Pinterest pin to organize something. Well, in order to organize something, you got to clean it up first, you know, so I'll just take that. But you know what? Honestly, if you're really having a difficult time getting motivated, just calm down, get out of your head. It'll be okay. Everything's going to get done in time. It doesn't have to all be done tomorrow. It's just, it's okay. And, um... One of the things the fly lady teaches is cleaning, even done wrong, even done incorrectly, it still blesses your home. That's what she loves to say. And I love hearing that. It's not cleaning. It's blessing your home. Um, that's one of my favorite things that she says. Because um, even on the days where I get so mad because somebody put another dirty dish in the sink or something like that. Um, which, by the way, for those who have been following my, my cleaning stuff, I'm now doing dishes. My kids aren't doing them anymore. It got to be too much of a fight. So now I'm just, I, I'm doing it too. So, um, so that has been removed from their chores and they will have other chores in replace of that later. So, um, but right now I'm taking on that hassle. It's not a hassle though. It, it's actually turned out pretty good. I've got a good little system going, but anyway, so on days whenever it's, um, you just are so frustrated with somebody putting one more thing in the sink or something like that, just calm down. It's, it's not about that. It, your house doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. This is what I wish some of the haters on my YouTube channel would understand. I'm not trying to have my house perfect. I'm not. I don't want my house to be perfect because I wouldn't feel comfortable in that kind of house. Uh, for other people, now I love watching people who have houses like that. They're, I think they're beautiful. But I just, my house is lived in. My family lives in our house and enjoys our house. And because of that, 
it tends to get messy pretty quickly. So anyway, that's all another thing. Um, but anyway, on days like that, just pick one little thing. And I'm not talking about a ton of stuff. I'm just talking about like, say, one drawer. Okay? You focus on that one drawer and that one drawer only. Okay? And you set your timer for 15 minutes or even five minutes or two minutes even. I don't know what kind of week you had. So depending on what kind of week you had, set your time for however much time you want to devote to that. Okay, and then after that time, if you want to continue, go ahead and continue. Don't go all day, though, and take your breaks. But if that's what can get you started, do that. So those are my motivation tips. And then if all else fails, I listen to the Fly Lady. She's got these little silly cleaning songs that she has on her radio show. You can... uh uh, watch her, or you can listen to her radio shows her archives and things like that so I'll turn it on one of her old shows or something like that or even some that just happened this week and I'll listen to it and those songs get me moving you know and so when the song comes on she'll even give you little tasks to do during her show go do those things do them with her and then in between you'll hear her and she is very motivating okay I don't know if any of you have listened to her show or not but if you haven't, go listen to her show. She will motivate you too, okay? I'm, I'm hoping that some of the stuff I told you in this video was helpful. If it was, let me know. Um, so that way, you know, I know what helps. <laughs> it, would, it would be nice, you know, tell me what helped you out of that. Um, and also, if you have any other questions about cleaning or anything like that, let me know. And I, will, I would love to do another video and help you all out, so... All right, until then, I will see you all later. Bye-bye.